a lot of magazines use a technique for their cover by having the title of their magazine text on top of the photo but also behind part of the photo as well. I'm going to go over how to do that by using Adobe Photoshop. Go ahead and open up an image that has some kind of delineation. For example, this one has a baseball player, pretty good edge here, and we're going to actually have the baseball player there in the foreground and then text that's partially covered by the baseball player but still on top of the rest of the photo. So if you think about Sports Illustrated, a couple other magazines use this technique. So we have the background layer here, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're first going to make a selection and uh, you can use any of the selection tools that work best for you if you have a quick selection tool, if you have a definite edge there or a poly polygonal lasso tool I'm going to use and I'm going to zoom in and for this all I have to do really is just select this area and the idea is to select an area that part of it is going to be on top of the text All right. So you want to make pretty close selection here and you can go later and modify the edge if you want by going to select modify edge if you want to add a feather like a one pixel or two pixel feather and uh, experiment with some of the other settings but I'm just going to keep this straightforward selection alright so you do something like this and once you get down to the area that's kind of perpendicular to it's aligned with the beginning go ahead and bring it over so I'll just that's probably good enough for this example so we have this selected right here this baseball player All right. what you want to do is press control J on the PC or command J on the Mac and I'll hit the eye icon on the background layer and you can see that second layer there alright so I'm going to zoom out Next step, we need to create a text layer. So go ahead and click the type tool, and I'm just going to type in a name here. So I'll just call it Spring Training. Spring Training. <laughs> so Spring Training Magazine. That's just the name of it for this example, all right? And uh, I'm going to actually change the color here because that doesn't really go with that. Uh, I'll just do like some kind of blue. That'll be okay. Um, click the move tool there. Make sure show transform controls is selected. If you just clicked and drag, or just click and let go uh, earlier with the type tool, or you can change the font up at the top, the size, if you have it selected with the type tool. So let's just imagine this is the title of the magazine. You want it still to be readable, right? and hit enter. So what you would do is move this type layer in between the layer one that has only the selected area and the background layer. All right, And there you go. So just a simple technique uh, that a lot of sports uh, magazine as well as other types of magazines use by partially concealing the text, the title of the magazine, but still make it readable. So it adds a little bit of interest and it makes the some parts of the photo pop out more. So we have a technique here that only takes a couple steps. Uh, the most important part is probably just making a clean selection and then you just create a new layer and put text in between those two layers. Thank you.